Schwit. Jakers. Take that off. Diane. There's a bra. Sexy one. Bra nonetheless. You won't see the mess. I'm gonna push this up here. Like that. And let's sit down. <laughs> okay, I'm a tiny head. I'm a tiny little head. I'm coming. I'm coming, guys. Guys, I'm coming. Okay, so I'm all tangled. And there's stuff on the table. And that needs to go that way. And that way. Are we almost there? And then I left the bag of goodies over here. I need a fan blowing right in my face. Okay. There's no air in here. None, I tell you. Okay, okay, okay. I'll say okay a few more times. That's not annoying at all. You know what we're going to do? We're going to mist. I don't like plastic hangers. This is going to be supremely awkward, this intro, because... Hi everyone! Yeah, I told you it was going to be awkward. I don't have a lick of makeup on. Oh, I tell a lie. I have some soft ochre paint pot on my eyelids because I'm going to show you a mascara that I'm loving. And can I just tell you, I'm in the attic and you can see the mess behind me here. It's just, I don't want to even talk about it. I'm out of control. Okay, so inside this magic little bag here, I have a bunch of products. Would I call them favorites? They're my current go-to products. Um, in the summer, I find myself wearing very very little makeup because it's so hot and humid up here look this see um it's so hot and humid where i live that anything i put on my face unless it's waterproof or water resistant is going to slide and i mean slide and if i wear white god forbid i'd be wearing the shrouded tarin on my breastplate any hoot nanny i wanted to go through and if you saw the dust you'd puke Oh my God, I'm minging. And I'm not in my kitchen because um, we were having some construction done outside and every time I go to sit down at the kitchen table, I either have an audience of people outside my big window, my big sliding door, or I have noise. So we're coming, hopefully we're coming to the end of this construction project and then it'll be done and then it'll be done and then it'll be done. And anybody who's done anything from Having your grass mowed to uh, having an extension put on your house, you know that it's no fun having somebody in, in or around your house all the time. Anyway, let me get on with this. Let me get on with the video. I was in the city, I was in Manhattan with my sister for uh, two days last week and we were taking a stroll along Fifth Avenue. We had some beautiful weather and we were taking a stroll along Fifth Avenue. We were going up to Central Park um, to have lunch at the boathouse. I think it's called, is it Lowe's? Lowe's Boathouse or? Anyway, if you're in Manhattan, I highly recommend making an appointment to have lunch there. It's a little higher end, it's white tablecloth service, but you will never forget it. You're right on the water overlooking people in boats and it's idyllic. Um, so my sister and I did that to mark this trip. And on our way up, we popped into Henry Bendel's. And I've been in there a couple of times before, I actually, bought the, what's the pulsating light thing that I showed you guys, Palovia or, yeah, Palovia. That I bought at Henry Bendel's and they were having a special at the time. So we wandered in, I bought some, I was actually checking for the Laura Mercier pressed mineral powder in rich vanilla, which I can't find anywhere. It seems to be, whether they're discontinuing it or somebody was trying, one of the girls was trying to explain to me that, um, she was trying to explain something to me that really didn't gel, so 
I won't even try explaining it to you. Something about products and uh, moving them and blah, 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 blah. My, I just said, you have it? No, okay, bye. So we wandered over to the Mali counter, M-A-L-L-Y. Now, I, um, I was a little familiar with her products. I've never used any of them before, but I was a little familiar with them because um, uh, I think she's on QVC. So Mali is this woman who has her own business and she makes cosmetics. And to be honest, I'm kind of I'll show you some of the packaging. Um, so there's there's her mascara. The mascara is the Mali Volumizing Mascara. Um, I don't know if you can see that the writing the writing is in pink. To be honest, you know, packaging wise, I'm not blown away. Here's the little um, little set I got of highlighter and blush. It came with a very average brush that sheds. Well, this side here, the blush side of it, is pretty average. You know, it's kind of it's kind of stiff and prickly. But this one is actually quite good for applying the highlighter. Let me start with that one actually. So it comes in, it comes in this little pack. Again, this this to me kind of looks a bit. I mean, this is brand new, and you can see it's got like dents in it, and I'm, it just looks cheap. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna go out the limb. It to me, the packaging looks cheap. The pink is kind of Barbieish pink, shiny. It comes in a little pot, a little palette. I do have to say, I like the um, snake skin. But I also know that not everybody is a snakeskin fan. But I have heard about this this particular product. This is a 24-7 professional blush in peony light. And it has a cream highlighter and a blush. The blush is powder. Now what sets this apart for me is this is a universally flattering shade of blush. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. Let's see if I can show up. You know, it's not... It is pigmented, there's enough, I mean, it's pretty much the colour of my cheeks right now. But what, for me, sets this apart is this highlighter. There is something, it's very similar to the Kevin Aquan um, highlighter that I think I featured in another video. But it is a real champagne kind of colour. But this stuff goes on like a dream. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. So there's, so there's the blush, and then right down here I put the um, the highlighter, and I have never like when I apply highlighter on my cheekbones. Let me do it now. I mean I'm going to be taking it off anyway, but let me apply it with the 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 brush. So it's a flat shading brush, and you pick up a little you pick up a little bit of the product, and the guy told me to apply it kind of a, in a pressing motion, kind of like that, up, 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 up. Always kind of going up in the sea. I mean, that's no, that's no news, right? So you just kind of pat it on, up towards the hairline, up, 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 up. And then you take your finger and blend it up into the hairline. Now I am shiny enough, highlighted enough, I mean, no highlight here, but a highlight here. I think you can just see that. For such a tiny amount of product, when you apply this over makeup, I mean, I put it on over powder, I put it on over liquid, this stuff stays put. But it's not, you barely feel it on your skin. It is a great, great product. I highly recommend it. And they have it, I believe, in two shades. They have one for light skin. They may have three. I'll put, a, I'll put an annotation. Um, I know they have a darker one because there was a lady that came in um, who had very dark skin who was buying another shade of it and she swore by it. I couldn't believe it because, you know, a blush is a blush, a highlight is a highlighter. These two together are gorgeous. So go at least and try them out. And if they go on sale on QVC, good idea. Now, Mali Mascara. The mascara I just showed you guys. This stuff is amazing. I want to show you that. I want to show you the difference. I'm going to kind of zoom in on my eyeball. Yep. Right. And I'm going to apply the Mali. It's just a regular. Oh, let me back up. It's just medium size wand. The bristles are quite tight together, so I think that's what finds all the little lashes. 
And now I'm going to... I haven't even curled my lashes. So I'm applying it in with a little bit of a, a wiggly woo. Kind of a wiggle and a turn. A wiggle and a turn. And you can see that this bad boy is finding lashes where I didn't even think I had any. Now I have, like I said, all I have on is a badly applied soft ochre paint pot on my lid. I mean, there is a major difference, right? And that's just one coat. So we give that a little sec. Let's put do the other one while we're waiting. As I make a big splodge of myself. Sort of little mascara never hurts anyone, right? So that's both eyes done. Now let me add the ply. And that paint pot is really bothering me. Please, please ignore it. Because I swear to God I'm not going back to re-record this. So I pick up a little bit more product. I'm going to do two coats. The beautiful, masterful thing about this mascara is it does not clump. And you can already see the difference. One coat, two coats. We do another coat. You see nothing is clumping. It's my pet peeve. I hate clumpers. And where is it going? All the way down here. Nice one. I just remove it off my skin because that's not always a nice look. Let me have a looky looky. Here comes Cookie. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad without a mirror. And then just for shit and giggles, let's put another one on. Let's see if we can make him even that smells nice. Not too chemical. Now, do you see the difference? Three coats, two coats. I leave no lash behind. Okay. Don't ask me what the formula is. Reminds me of. Oh, you can see right up my nose from here. Whoa, no, I always do that. Now, that to me makes a huge difference. That's like an eye lift, for God's sake. Look at the state of my hair. Okay, can I just say something to you guys? So, in my effort to look quasi presentable, when I made my return to YouTube, I decided I was going to put a tiny, I mean, the tiniest dropper of, is it the Josie Marin Argan Oil? I said, my, you know, my hair looks a little frizzy on top. Let me just add a little bit. So I took one tiny drop, put it, look, there's a hair. That's great. Um, one tiny drop, put it on my hand, rubbed it like all over my hands like that, and then just went kind of like that. And it looks like I haven't washed my hair in months, especially my bangs. Look at this. And now on top of everything, I come up to this roasting room and I'm sweating. So that's now no longer the highlighter, that's actual sweat. I didn't do highlighter there. All right, so we have the Mali mascara and we have the Mali um, highlighter and blush duo. What else do I have? Oh, I don't know, have I mentioned this in, I know that this is like a holy grail product for a lot of people and I waited a really long time to jump on the Rachel K bandwagon, but by George have I jumped. Um, this is the Mineral Colour Control Blemish Balm in CC Cream. It says it's smudge proof, waterproof, anti-wrinkle, nourishing collagen. This stuff is the bomb diggity. I can't see what colour it is, but it is the in the in the pink tube. Um, it goes on, it has a slight, I won't say grey cast, but it's very beige cast to it. And it goes on super duper white. Let me see if I can even... It kind of goes on white. Of course you can't see anything. It kind of whitens everything out when you put it on. It does have an... I believe it has an SPF in it. 
Yes, it has an SPF 35 in it. So I would never wear this on its own. But whatever magical ingredient is in this, whatever you put over top of it stays put. I tend to have the, I'm not particularly oily, but in my T-zone, my makeup will stay perfect on my cheeks. I can actually rock a red lip for most of the day. However, when I apply even uh, mineral foundation on the middle of my face, it fades away after a couple of hours and it's highly frustrating. So this Rachel K Mineral Color Con <laughs> Rachel K Mineral Color Control and it's in Korean up here, so there's a bunch of Korean right in there that I can't read. Um which I bought from Lisa Lisa D1. I bought it from her site. Um give this a go. I really think you won't regret it. It goes on, I, put, I apply it with my fingertips, it goes on a dream and everything sticks to it. I really love it. I don't think I've found any primer or anything that comes close to how this stuff extends the life of my makeup. Now for you, I told you. Um, talk about fantastic products, I may have mentioned this in another video. This is an Inglot um, eyeliner gel matte number 77, which is the black one. This stuff is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. For a winged line, this stays put. You can put this on, I can put this on my lash line and it will stay put for a long time. And I have pretty watery sensitive eyes. So that's again, that is the Inglot number 77 black. Is it waterproof? No, oh, just says eyeliner gel matte but it seems to be water resistant. What else do I have in here? Oh, this is gorgeous. This is the NYX Chaotic, what do they call this? Illuminator for face and body. Now, I don't know if you can see that, that is quite, it's similar, it's not unlike the one I just had. In fact, I think it's ident, no, it's more, there's more peach in this one. Now, there doesn't seem to be a lot of color in this and for people with darker skin tones, you'll probably find that this will be a fantastic highlight. But for me, this is a great blush. It is, there's just enough pink and there's just enough orange in it for it to add color, even when I have self tanner on. Um, I highly recommend that and it, and it looks super shimmery. It looks super shimmery in the pan and it goes on with a gold kind of a, it does have it does have shimmer to it, like a pearlescence to it. To me, it is like um, what do you call it? Orgasm by Nars, but lighter. With I don't know, is it lighter? I just want to show you the the difference between these two bad boys. So here is the Mali one, and here is the Nyx one. This one has more pink. This one has more peach. Um, if you have a skin tone like mine. I highly recommend I'm inexpensive too, so it's the uh, Illuminator in Chaotic. Illuminator for face and body. It just, it's beautiful and it illuminates everything. What else do I have in here? One more thing. One more thing. Um, I've been using this a lot. I usually steer clear of liquid foundations or anything that is liquidy uh, for the summer, for obvious reasons. But again, I've been putting this on and really been surprised how my Clinique Even Better Makeup SPF 15, it evens and corrects. These two together, I think have made a huge difference to the quality of my skin this summer. But these two together this summer have been fantastical. And then I'll just um, dust a little bit of the uh, Laura Mercier pressed mineral powder in rich vanilla in my T-zone on my chin. And then I'll spray it with either um, my Fix Plus or my um, Skindinavia or Skindinavia um, fixing spray. The one I use is the Age, Age Rewind or the Ageist one. Timeless Ageist. The one that makes you look really young. That one, yeah. And so there's just a couple of things I wanted to share with you guys because I've been remiss and mithered and um, I really have missed getting on here to talk to you guys. Um, I know I posted a, like a 30 second thing of Bella acting the Egypt the other day. I am somewhat back. <laughs> we are winding down this project. It has been um, 
you know when you do a project it has been one thing after the other and the thing about me is you can throw a lot on my plate and I seem to function very very well and at a high level but it's when little things start to pick away at you Oh, good Lord. Bless us and save us. Anyway, that's the least to say about that. I'm going to go eat something now. I think we're all going to go to Hibachi. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.